All right, guys. Can you hear me? I just ran downstairs. Sorry, upstairs to get a knocko. Upstairs, since I'm in my mom's basement, of course. Not an addiction, it's a habit. There's a difference. Yeah, Sava, I must have been the only person in the world losing money on the short side on Sava yesterday. I can't fucking believe how sloppy I was trading that thing. Unbelievable. I was in too much size too early, and then when it was time to get in size, that's when I didn't. So stupid. That's fine. I killed it on uh, GME instead. You, you can't have a. Tr you, you, I mean, literally, it's impossible to have a perfect trading day. There's always that one trade. You're like, the fuck did I did? What the fuck did I do there? What the hell is going on? There's always that one trade. It's impossible, guys. If you're having perfect trading days, you're better than me at trading. I'm telling you. Like, I could have had a perfect trading day yesterday. I could have nailed Sava. Instead, I just fucked it up. Unbelievable. So stupid. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, let's see. Lisi could be a short watch. It's too low priced. Um, but I, I think I'll do it anyways. It, it, you know, it's it's up from like what, three bucks to fifty. Yeah, there could be. Oh, it's already fading pre-market. Uh, okay, we'll see. What's the borrow cost for this thing? Uh, not too bad. Uh, Okay, I'll do it. Let's see here. The sense is looking decent, but it's, it's too li illiquid to me. The space is still high tide flagging. Hopefully it can go sideways a few more days. Dash is looking interesting. Laser looks good. DRXC looks good. Like all of these stocks, like DRXC, SNDL, Sense, they're already like really, like they're already up, you know, 500,000% in the past few months. But they are flagging, so yeah. Bingo, yeah, it could be a short uh, below yesterday's. I, I don't, it's too thin for, again, I am, I'm having this problem that I think most of you would like to have. It's too thin. It's too illiquid for me. The struggle is real. I'm telling you guys, the struggle is real. It's a hum, yeah, <laughs> it's a humble brag. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Pins, episodic pivot. Um, um, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, could be. I'm actually more excited about Snapchat buying it opening range highs. It's capping down at a 20 day and it's at the same price where the per a breakout was uh, last week or like Monday or whatever it was. It's like buying the breakout again. I think it's a good risk reward. It's a very, like, it's, it's not really something I usually do. Uh, doing something like this, like buying a dip. Uh, but in this, this case, I'm going to make an exception. And so, 
bit yeah you know, chi I me should I add to the short now it's 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 already it's almost at the 50 day now that's the, the 50 day I've been talking about this thing man like guys you need to learn this like l look at this thing the stock was screaming at our in, in our faces it wanted to go down but lower highs and when it broke the range uh, out of the gate yesterday look at the move it made so far it went down 38 percent from that range break 38 percent that's an insane move on the short side like this is so textbook this is so incredibly textbook um, the ranges on this stock GME No, I know, but those of you who have uh, like good trading brokers, it's a trap before the infinity squeeze. It already had the infinity squeeze. It's over. It's game over. <laughs> it's game over. The pump phase uh, has uh, has begun. Uh, I do think GME will have a big bounce, 100, 200%, very easy. Like this thing could easily go bounce from 50 to 100 today. Uh, I, I hope it doesn't do it today. I hope it goes down one more day, down to like, I don't know, the lower the better, and then has an insane like 200, 300% update. That would be so epic. Holy fuck. How do I manage so many positions? Only 20? That's not much. This is why you swing trade. Look at most of my positions. They're way over my stop. I don't have to manage them. They manage themselves. There's only a few stocks I'm, I watch out uh, at a time. That's why you sh should swing trade and uh, not day trade. Uh, you don't have to watch every tick. They take care of themselves. GME short might cover their positions. Yeah, yeah, the sh yeah, all the shorts, they're in, I, they're, they're in the same Discord. Yeah, I agree. They're, they're going to cover. I, I, I think, you know, I'm in the same Discord. I'm going to tell you where. 44, 45, 38. That's where all the shorts will cover their position. I, I'm in the secret Discord. Yeah, good luck, everyone. Yeah, any bounce from these levels, I wouldn't trust. I, I, I strongly feel it needs one more down day. I may be wrong, but I, I'm covering my, or I'm still holding my partial short on it from yesterday. I want that big one. I want the big short. Uh, sorry, the big uh, bounce. Invite us to the secret Discord? No. <laughs> no. There is no secret Discord. Shorts, they're all boomers. We, we use uh, AOL. Damn, this snapshot didn't open as low as I thought it would. Oh, uh, okay, whatever. I, I bought the opening range size. We'll see what happens. Damn, I thought it was going to open a couple bucks lower. Oh, it's probably going to... Uh, fuck, yeah, I probably made a mistake. Oh, wait! I, I made a fat finger mistake on it. I bought one tenth size on it. What the fuck? Okay, um, 
Oh, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> Oh, I missed Lisi. Are you kidding me? I missed it. Oh, I'm becoming such a boomer. I'm too slow. I can't believe I fucked it Lizzie up. Oh, I... Tesla is still staying below the 10 and 20 day here so far. The hell why is this MGN up so much?
Oh, step point green, nice. Like for example, <clears throat> so this pins, like I'm not super excited about it as a episodic pivot because it's already had a, like a year long run, you know, it's, it made a big move. It had two, you know, the whole move started with this episodic pivot here when it was early in the run when it was just coming out of a long sideways space. That was the EP. Uh, then it had another one, secondary, had big volume, but this one didn't go straight up. It pulled back and then it went higher. And this is the third one. And you, usually, you know, when you're looking for earnings EPs, you want the first or second. Or, you know, the third would be fine if it's coming out a longer base or a correction. But this one is, it's not that long of a base. So, you know, the fail rate is much higher, much, much higher. And you can also see the volume, it's nowhere near uh, the, the last two episodic pivots. It's not really a surprise anymore. Like, it, yeah, it beat the analyst estimates, etc., but it's not really a surprise anymore to the market. It's kind of an expected beat, so to say. Yeah, it's an old, I wouldn't say an old trend, but it's, it's not really a new trend. Um, th that it's definitely not. Vox EP uh, where yeah here yeah that one unfortunately would have stopped you out this Tesla is so incredibly tight I have to believe it's gonna make a big move either direction it breaks The stock I'm most excited about, both long and short, is Tesla. But don't know yet which way it will break. Clovis, yeah. Yeah, yep, it's a good setup. TDC, EP, uh, yeah, I don't know what the numbers are, but yeah, could be. Ecos, no, it's not a good setup. It's wide and sloppy. Nope, it needs to be tight. It's already up, what, three days in a row? No, it, it's not really, uh, no, it's not a good setup. It needs to come out of a tight range. The correlation coefficient between GME and SAO was 0 0.88. Yeah, because, yeah, well, uh, it's because, uh, yeah, because all the same people are in those stocks.
they passed a $1,400 stimulus. It's like $1,400, what, per buy monthly or, or, or what? Can anyone, uh, this cheap beat, that's a good setup. Someone mentioned it, I think. Yeah, yeah, someone mentioned it, uh, Poon Donkey. That's a good looking setup. I like it. Very nice. Look how linear it is. It's made a big move. Oh, electric school bus. It's the right theme too, EV related. It's been building higher and low, surfing the 20 day, and now it's breaking out of this range. Very nice looking setup. Yeah, it's the same people in the secret short discord. GP front runners in the stream. I'm not trading, so no one can front run something I can I I don't trade. It's too thin for me. But yeah, that is a problem. Like if I mention like something that's you know fairly liquid, this isn't that liquid. But if I mention like oh wow, it's a really great setup. I know people are just gonna blindly like most of you won't, but I mean there's probably 10, 15 people just gonna blindly buy it because I like it. It's just a fact. I really want to avoid that. It's not a good thing. I kind of love it how this uh, community is like a reverse pyramid scheme, like with a pyramid scheme, you always want more people to come in after you, but now that I've got the request uh, to be on the chat with, uh, chat with traders, like there's a lot of people have been writing in the chat and also like on Twitter that I shouldn't do it because it will, uh, there will be a bunch of new people in here. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's like a reverse pyramid scheme. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm, I'm going to do it. Please don't, don't do it, do not, no. <laughs> there will be a bunch of morons in here. <laughs> There's always gonna be a bunch of morons. That's why we have, hey, I also idiot proofed the, the link, or the, like, uh, the, 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 if you uh, type exclamation mark uh, start, you get to my blog. I, I idiot proofed it a little bit more. Like, I want to be really, really clear about what type of people I want here and what type of people I don't want here. Because, you know, it's a win-win. Or it's a lose-lose. Like, if wrong type of person gets in here, you know, both that person and everyone else in, in the room loses on it. Because it's, it's not a good match. So I idiot proved it a little bit more. I'm going to show you in a sec. Like this is the this is the link you get to, and I I, I did the step to step thing. Like first, what do you you need to do? Read and understand the chat rules below. Read the two link below uh, blog posts. Understand the content. Follow me on social media, and only if you want to make millions. Link below. 
I also should specify um, uh, that uh, because it may not be obvious, maybe someone finds that link without uh, going through uh, Twitch. So I'm actually going to specify it a little bit. Dedicated spelling. I don't know what it means. Right, I updated it now. Wow, it's casino names, or at least win. What's Pen? DraftKings. Man, this draft uh, Pen. I've been. I mean, I missed man. <sighs> this thing had several really, really good breakouts. It had one here. I was textbook uh, when it bounced off to 50 day had a breakout from that range and then it had one here two like picture perfect breakouts like, like look at this thing it's five star and then look at this thing this one too it gapped up broke the range and uh, after you know surfing the 50 day for a few days I totally missed this this stock Damn, I'm a little bit annoyed. Yeah, so yeah, that's what happened. I didn't see it rallied like in the f last few minutes uh, before the market opened. It actually had a big rally, like dollar fifty rally um, into the open. Uh, so when I bought it opening range highs, I thought I was buying it like on the daily, like up here, right? Just a little bit above the 50 day, just where it broke out here, 55. 56 level yeah 56 or so so I, yeah well i hope it works um that kind of screwed it up i didn't see it rallied oh gme that one is rallying too didn't even uh, hit the 50 day all right all right let's see if it can if it will get rejected on the 10 ema though because that's the one that's been acting as a resistance now for the past three four sessions if it, if it holds, if it if it holds the 10 EMA and starts going higher, I'll just cover my short. I, I was really hoping for this thing to gap down. Man. Zoom. Crazy volume. Yeah, it's, it's actually big volume. Zoom reminds me on W uh, when it broke out. Or actually, no, never mind. It, they don't look the same at all. Never mind. But it's a long base. It's breaking out a long base. Not really the type of setup I'm trying to teach you guys, but it's it, it's laser triggering again.
It's kind of funny. GME is up 37% on the day, and it has only retraced half of yesterday's move. <laughs> I, I mean, the percentage moves in that stock, it's, it's insane. It's crazy. Holy, holy shit. The Chimmy halt on the upside. Mm, VIAC has pretty decent setup. Damn, this sun when it broke out over this, uh, uh, like 105 ish or 103, whatever. Just like that, it's up pretty much almost 100% since. What a market. sense yeah yeah it looks like this some looked a few days ago yeah, it looks good too late to buy it now but opening range highs that was it either like 281 or the five minute opening range highs at 287 those were the entry points now with three it's way too late but yeah five star setup really good looking Guilt on February 3. Uh, yeah, it looked pretty decent. Yeah, it looked okay. CYH. Yeah, looks like a decent setup. Not the most powerful momentum stock, but sure, it looks okay. Uh, set up in Balsoon? No, I don't see a setup in here. Balsoon hasn't had a good setup in years. Last time I. It had an EP here. I, I think I even traded it, if I remember correctly. But but it never really went. went so I, I think I got stopped out, you know, after a few weeks, and then it was a very choppy one. That's the last time I remember it having a setup. Chivo, uh, because it's not tight, it's not tight, it's wide and loose, it needs to tighten up for a few days. Look at something like Sense, right? Look at how tight it is on the 60 minute and on the daily. And now look at Chivo, it's all over the place, there's no linear, it's, it's just not good looking. HEO is one of them? No. It, it's not really a momentum stock in that way. It's it also ADR, 3.2 ADR. You should all focus on 5% plus. You guys, you should know this if you have watched the uh, followed instructions. It's too, it's too low ADR. Don't trade low ADR. If you hate money, you can trade low ADR stocks.
Well, in that case, there may be something wrong with your uh, scan. Oh, shit, GME. Um, probably wants to go straight to 100 here. Halt it again. Hmm. Damn, I guess I should have covered the opening range highs. I was a bit sloppy. I've been so sloppy. I missed at least the... I'm getting old. It must be all the knocko. It, 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 it ages your brain. I would be $2 million richer if I had uh, covered opening range highs. Oh well. Shit happens. Um, oh, Snapchat. Yeah, now we took out opening range. Ah, oh, fuck. And now it's probably gonna bounce. It's, it's re undercut the 65 EMA and now it's gonna bounce. <sighs> Fast it looks good. It's on my watch list also. It looks good. Man, am I sloppy today? What the hell is going on? Chiami, <laughs> Chiami. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. You're sloppy as well. <laughs> it's the market? No, it's not. I I am sloppy. I missed Lisi. Uh, I, I didn't pay attention on Snapchat and uh, I didn't pay attention on GME. It's not the market, it's me. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Gap field to 160, 200. Uh, well, it's a little bit early talking about gap field to 200. <laughs> it's stock is in the 80s. Uh, da, da, yeah, everything is possible with this one. Absolutely. Yeah, it could be there in 30 minutes. You're absolutely right. PLTR, yeah, finally. It's surfing the 20. It's been building higher lows above the 20. How much does a market environment? Uh, uh, 99%. You need a good market to get good setups and big moves. Both the best long and short setups are in a bull market. And not only a bull market, the more speculation money there is, the better. And so the past 14 months have been like the best in 20 years when it comes to speculation money. When I had, yeah, that's when I, that's when it, like I know some traders really look down to uh, if you post a PNL, if you have a big PNL, uh, like, oh, are you bragging? But it's not about that. Like for me, that was life changing. When I saw someone, 
like post a $50,000 profit on a stock, I was also trading. Like I had a tiny account at that time. I made maybe, I don't know, a thousand bucks on it. And since someone posted $50,000 profit, I didn't even think it was possible to make $50,000 in a day. That really inspired me and, you know, made me push harder, made me want to get to that level. Now, 50,000 bucks, I bet that in commissions <laughs> some days. So, yeah. That's why I post uh, PNL sometimes. So let's just show you guys what's possible. Warhammer 3 trailer? Total War Warhammer 3? Of course you will be able to make money. Sure. You can make money in any market. If you can't, you're a bad trader. A good trader can make money in any 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 market gosh let's see if we can get rejected here the hundred dollar level is a big level it's inside of this base and also the 20 EMA is here I would be three million dollars richer if I'd covered it opening range eyes Partial position, obviously. Either so otherwise, I wouldn't be in this thing anymore. Man, I'm so lazy and so sloppy today. Who's the guy you mentioned in the PDF trading note you have on Stockby? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know what guy. I don't know what PDF. Uh, what I'm seeing on GME, I'm seeing that it just got rejected uh, into the 20 EMA, the declining 20 EMA. That's what I see. And now I know exactly where my stop is going to be. And that's that. I'm not going to be sloppy this time. In case it wants to go to 200 later. But yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed it bounced today. I, like if this thing had gapped down another like 3, 4 bucks, 5 bucks to the 50 day or even undercut the 50 day. I would have been, I mean I would have had a big, big long position on this thing. And now it's just... I don't think this bounce is going to stick, or maybe it will, I don't know. But what I want to do now, if it builds a tight range for the 60 minute, I would lo love to trade against that. Lumen? Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, looks pretty decent. What, what, who are the Yankees? NSPR surfing. Yeah, NSPR, good setup. I, I would, like I said it before, I don't recommend anyone trading sub dollar stocks, but the setup is good, absolutely. NCLH flagging, uh, well, not really. Well, on the weekly, yeah, I guess so. But it's it's not really uh, something you should be looking at. Apps, uh, man, this apps also it had a big EP. Look at this thing. Had an EP here. That was the first. Like this is where you want to buy it, ideally, the first or the second. Uh, and since then. Yeah, well, apparently yesterday's EP is working too, but you know, the odds of success get, you know, they get diminished every time you buy it higher. But this thing has just insane earnings.
Pack B. Um, uh, I mean, I guess it's okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, no, it's it, it's a good looking setup. It is. It is a decent. It's a decent looking setup. But that's the problem right now in the market. Like everything is straight up for months and months and months, and I, I just you know it's it's tricky. Made your pullback never happen. Okay, good luck. The more people starting to believe a major pullback will never happen, the more uh, likely it will happen. That's how uh, the markets work. That's just how things are. That's just how it works. And the more people believe the market can't go any higher, that's when the market keeps going higher. That's what happened the past 10 years. And now, after 10 years of bull market, now people start believing the market will never go lower. Even though we actually had a, you know, like a bear market just less than a year ago. <sighs> Why I'm in PLTR? Because I'm trading it with a 20 day. That's why I'm in PLTR. But I did size down a little bit when it closed uh, below the 10 day. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, NIO looks good. Uh, well, actually, not anymore. Uh, it looked better uh, on the scan. But yeah, if you can reclaim and yeah, it's, it's a tight range. Really, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's actually a pretty good looking one. <clears throat> I just can't resist and test like I always have to do a starter <laughs> it's such an easy stock to trade it's high priced it's ultra liquid it's so easy just to, you know do some shares with a market order you don't have to care about slippage and stuff like that When it, when is that fourteen hundred dollar check gonna hit? And and how often will it come? Will it come like once per like month or or is it just a one time check or how what how does it work? Only once? And what when when do you guys get it? Oh, in many months? Okay. No, oh, okay, it's not sure. David is not getting a $1,400 check. <laughs> After following me, none of you are eligible. <laughs> you should just say the government you retired. Someone wrote the retired people get it. Yes, David. Are you going to wish me a happy day? Good luck. Have a good day. Is that what you're gonna? 
<laughs> you came my ad. Who the hell is Candice? So actually, someone uh, on on the uh, Facebook uh, named Candice wanted to befriend me. It's it's a little girl. Who who is it? I don't know who it is. Yeah, I know you mentioned her before. You gave my address. <laughs> Friend her. Vision block trading of GME. Really? She's a friend. She's like five years old. It's it's not your kid, right? Whose kid is it? Okay, I'll friend her. She's a cute girl. Where is she? <laughs> Can this is David dressed as a little girl? Lawsuits incoming? For what? Uh, how do you use Facebook again? Man, I, I have no idea how to find it. I only look at the notifications and I, I never find the things I want to find. Huh? I don't know. I'm, I have no idea what Kroki Stein is writing. Some uh, really weird comments in the chat. I don't know. I don't like the way uh, where this thing is going. Some weird stuff uh, going on in the chat right now. Uh, anywho, yeah, let's keep the trading. Um, Guys, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. I don't get it. A good source to learn about risk management? Yeah, my blog posts. If you follow the instructions on the screen, there is a blog post there.
don't put more don't don't risk more than uh, one or absolutely max two percent of your account on any given trade and don't put more than say 20 25 percent of your account on in any single stock or etf overnight that's it that's your risk management It's as simple as that. No rocket science involved. My average win rate in 2019, it was 25%. And last year, it was maybe 30, 35%. Well, oh, good thing I didn't panic cover my short. Looks like it uh, got rejected at resistance. It's such a technically friendly stock. L like, look at this. It it's like y you can't make this up. It's like Tesla. Tesla and GME. Tec really technical friendly stocks, both of them. Yeah, I should. Yeah, there's so many blog posts and things I should do, but Hearts of Iron 4 takes a lot of my time. And, uh, you know, what can I say? <clears throat> if I'm going to do the chat with traders podcast, yes, I think so. Ah, oh, yeah, laser, what a shoppy one it goes. First he wants to go, then it fades, and he wants to go again, and then it fades again. And uh, I'm sorry for this, guys, I'm truly sorry. Yes, I always uh, add stuff to my Evernote. Uh, well, I've been lazy lately, but yeah, I should probably do it soon. Exactly. That's, that's a very good way of putting it. The less the price moves fundamentals, the more it will follow technicals. CBAT? What's going on with CBAT? Uh, yeah, I tried to break out. Yes, it's still building higher lows. Plug, yeah. Yeah, it wants to retest the 20-day. Let's see if it can hold the 20-day or not. Yeah, it's just, there's not much juice left. It's It feels like GME was maybe like, I don't know. It burnt the last of the crazies. Uh, I don't know. It's just not much juice in the markets. No. Wait, why do I still have 500 star shares of Snapchat? Okay, bye. Yeah, I also want, like, doesn't have to be anything crazy, but 10, 15 percent over the next few months, then we're gonna have some really, really good setups again. You know, I, I went from fearing market pullbacks to actually enjoying them because I know the big money is comes from after the market has pulled back. That's when a big big money is made. Not when the market has already run up for many months and you know like generally.
Not gonna pull back, who knows. And maybe that's the reason why the market will pull back, because everyone believes there will be no pullback with the stimulus check. Maybe everyone who, uh, you know, burnt their previous stimulus checks in the stock market, maybe they're not really willing to do it uh, a third time, you know. The market always finds ways to surprise you. Uh, what the hell was I supposed to do? Damn, I took off my phone, I forgot to... I hate when that happens, you open up your phone and it's like... What, are, what 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 was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I remember now. Of course, after I put it away. Now I have to get in again. Okay. Bum, bum, ba, da, ba. Yeah, exactly. You have to listen to it, not predict it. That's the thing. There's no money in prediction. But there's a lot of money in uh, listening. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. CLPT, what's that? Uh, yeah, not really a good setup. It was a good setup here. Like, this was a really good setup. That's a five star. But it's all, it's just, you know, like, it's already had one, two, three, four. This is the fifth base in just this many months. Like, you know, it's just not, you know, not a good thing. The fail rate just increases exponentially. And that's the problem. There are some setups, but they all like straight up. It's hard to get any conviction and in stuff like Sen. Oh, actually, Sense is only like this. This is actually only the second base on it. Even though it's, it is up a lot percentage wise, it's, it's actually a second base. So that's something that, you know, that, that was a really good one. I passed on it. It's too thin for me. Do I think data tracking is as important? I don't think data tracking is that important in uh, day trading either. Um, like it can help a little bit, but you know, if you have a big edge, you don't need to do much data tracking at all. I don't, you really don't. L like I've got to tell you right now what most people find out when they start doing data tracking they realized that if they just had cut their in every any given year if it, if they had just minimized their five biggest losses they would have made uh, twice as much money on the year that's it that's 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 the finding people make when they do all this advanced uh, data tracking i just saved you a lot of time <clears throat> and effort data tracking to find your edge no you don't need to do any data tra unless you're a uh, like uh, algorithmic trader. If you're a discretionary trader, I don't think you need to do much data tracking at all. And also another thing that many day traders find out that uh, like the the trades they make the first hour, two hours of the trading day, have a higher win rate than the trades they make uh, midday. That's it. I saved you guys another uh, a lot of effort and time. How I set profit targets uh, on the long side. It's very hard to have profit targets. That's why you use a trailing stop because you don't know if the stock is going to go up 10% or 100%. Uh, on the short side, it's much easier because you know, well, you know, the stock can't go down more than 100%. So it's very easy to adjust for that. So if you think a stock is going to fade a lot, like something like GME, in my case, when I shorted it, like I knew every time it goes down 10, 15%, I want, I probably want to cover like uh, say uh, 10, 15, 20% of my uh, position. That's it. 
on 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 the short side you shouldn't use trailing stops uh, as much you can use like the 10 or 20 emas on the 60 minute or the daily if it's like a larger mega cap stock you're short you can use like the daily like a 10 day or a 20 day moving average but it's more important to cover into strength when short than sell into strength when long much more important because the profit target on a long is unknown you don't know you literally don't know if it's going to go up 10 percent or 100 percent Trailing stop, do you use a specific percent? I use the 10 and the 20 moving average. You guys, you should already know these things. It, it's all in the instructions. Just follow the link. On, 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 uh, on the screen. <laughs> do i have big drawdowns uh in dollar terms yes in percentage terms i have a 10 percent drawdown maybe like once per month uh, like 10 percent is just a normal fluctuation uh i have a maybe a 20 percent drawdown every like i don't know quarter nah not every quarter nah maybe twice per year i have a like a 20 percent drawdown and maybe every couple of years I have like a 30% drawdown or 35. Yes, yeah, so my whole account from peak equity. But you know, look, if you double your account in a couple of months and then you have a 20% drawdown at the third month, you're still gonna be up like uh let's see the math here uh eighty percent in three months even though you're in a twenty percent drawdown so you know as you know make sure your drawdowns come from account like after you've uh, had a nice run in the markets it's not fun to have a drawdown if you've uh, equity has gone down or sideways for many months How much do I put aside? Uh, not much. What I need. Twen 10 to 20 percent drawdown? Yeah. That's normal. Guys, I'm gonna break something to you. If you don't have 20% drawdowns now and then, you won't have explosive returns. I'm just going to put it out there. Like you have to find the sweet spot uh, between drawdowns and uh, returns. How much do I spend on cat food? I only buy the most expensive cat food. Uh, but I have no idea. I have no idea about anything, uh, what anything in the store costs. I haven't looked at prices for many years now. I just buy the whatever I need. <sighs> no idea how much I spend on cat food. No, no idea. And, and also, by the way, last time you guys sent me free cat food, so I appreciate it. David, yeah, you can send me cat food. It is a video game. No, but really, after you realize after a while, it's just a video game. It's all about knowing the game mechanics. You know, you can master any game if you understand the game, especially like strategy games. If you master game mechanics, you'll be very good at that game. Same thing with the stock market. It's just the same thing over and over again. 
don't listen to the idiots on TV or on media that says, oh, this is unprecedented, uh, whatever, blah, blah, yada, yada. It's not. It's, it's, all, it's always the same things happening over and over again. It's up to you to either be a victim, be an unknowing victim, or choose to be a victim, or you can be in control. It's your choice. Your choice. Da, 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 da. Man, this MSDR, what a beast. This is what relative strength why relative strength is so important. Both SI and like SI, they, they're both like, they found support on a 20 day while Bitcoin found support on a 50 day. That's relative strength. And now they're both up a shitload from entry. Like pullbacks are, are a gift because you will, you will find out what's showing relative strength and what's not showing relative strength. But if you get a big pullback, like something like March, February, March last year, uh, usually what happens, the first stocks uh, to rally uh, are usually the most beaten down. And the next leg higher, that's when you get the stocks that have been holding up. But in a mild pullback, let's say 5 to 10%, usually uh, it's the ones holding up the best that are going gonna go up the most yeah I know it, it's like every day is a trading school people or people who ask me now and then when I do the next uh, trading school video I don't need to every day is a trading school Yeah, I know, Snapchat, fucking, ugh, so annoying. It just had to have that rally into the open. Cody. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's a pretty decent look. It's not really like, you want more explosive stocks, but, you know, when you have a long base, like, it could work, it could work. But it's kind of not surfing, even, it's not even surfing the 50 days, it's just been going sideways for so, for, uh, for so long. But yeah, I guess it could work. Disc? Uh, nah, not really. It's a bit too ex. I would have preferred it bounce off the 20 day. It's just, again, you know, it's straight up for so long and it's just a continuation move. 60. Uh, yeah, maybe a bit more sideways. Maybe a bit more sideways. Yeah, CLVS is uh, was a good setup. Yeah, this uh, I like this one. INSG too late. Uh, it's a sloppy. There's no setup here. Last time it had a setup was down here. Up here, there's, there's nothing here. It's just a random stock doing random things. Fastly? Well, it is in my uh, watch list, so I guess I may buy it if it breaks out. AMRS, 3rd of February. Yeah, it was an okay setup. Yeah. Yeah, no, actually, it was a pretty good setup. It had a false go on this day here. Uh, it's easy to see in the 60 minute. It tried to break this range. It fell back into the base kept building higher lows and then it went sometimes false breakouts can give you a much stronger setup later on embrace false breakouts wait you you watch my stream after the stream has ended also wow that's dedication absolutely that's great. 
Excel, I took a loss on it yesterday, but yeah, you know, it, fuck is this, uh, yeah, it pulled back and it's still building higher lows, I got, I took a loss on it yesterday, but yeah, it looks good, and for, for Monday, it looks really good if it closes like this, both laser and Excel, I really, really like, tight, tight and linear, very nice looking bases. It would be nice if you guys, like, uh, someone on Twitter uh, does, uh, like, notes in Google Docs and he links them and I retweet him. It would be nice if more people did that. Like, do the notes in Google Docs and share and I would retweet. Yeah, NIO, it's just in the middle of a range. There's like, you know, you know, there, you know, just set an alert and forget about it. Uh, yeah, it could go either way. It's it's just, you know, it's in the middle of a range. So re let me get this a vision band uh, trading of GME like entirely. And it's it's not in and it, in the wet bush it's not uh, uh, possible to borrow it so I can pretty much trade uh, GME in any account. So what I'm gonna do is since I, I'm still short fifty thousand shares, I'm thinking about boxing them up. Oh no, I can't because I can't trade it in Vision. Never mind. I can't even box the shares. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna hold it short even if it closes really weak. Uh, like near the lows of the day or something. I, I just won't hold, hold it over the weekend. The borrow fees are pretty hefty too. Like I haven't done the math exactly, but I, I paid probably like half a million bucks in borrow fees on GME the past, I don't know, 10 trading sessions or so. It's, uh, it's pretty expensive. <laughs> Cost of doing business. As an edge gets popular, I don't know what the, a, a, an edge gets popular means, but continuation moves are still the same. Are you talking about breakouts? Are you using the word edge as a breakout? A breakout is not an edge. There needs to be something else involved. You need to do the. You need to buy breakouts of the right stocks. Just just a breakout is not an edge. WWR, uh, yeah, that are really good, to, like an episodic pivot type of a move that started this. <sighs> Wait, GME? You can actually short GME and IB? Really? Wait, what? It is shortable. Fee rate, 4.47%. There are at least 93,000 shares to short. There's at least, I need to, I need, 91 holy shit it's going down okay I, i'm gonna sh i'm gonna take all the shares in ib fuck this shit i'm gonna fucking grab them oh no i can't because i it's it's a tiny account i can't uh, i don't have that much buying power in that account fuck it's only yeah it's by far my smallest account <laughs> I just tried to make the order and IB says the suggested size is 1500 shares <laughs> because I'm already on margin uh, long in the, in, the, in the IB account like I have no uh, almost no available buying power <laughs> uh, GME could go to 100 today it could go to 200 today that's what stops are for all right whatever um da -da 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 -da. Who the hell is using up my shares? 89.6k shares on GME? I bet it's it, it, right just like uh, two minutes ago there were 94,000 uh, shares available. PLL. <coughs> uh, yeah, it's actually setting up nicely. Had a big linear nice move, orderly pullback, and now it's getting tight. I would prefer if it goes sideways a bit more and builds higher lows. And the 20-day catches up a little bit more. But maybe 
yeah, I mean, it could be ready for Monday, but ideally it goes sideways a little bit more. Also, LAC, another lithium name, it, this one is flagging too. I had an orderly up move, now it's pulling back and it's building higher lows, and it's right around this 20 day. This one I've been long for a month or so, two months. But yeah, it's. Uh, how many shares do I have? Wait, I only have that few shares? Oh shit! I'm actually gonna upset an alert on it because. I want to. I think these lithium names could go much higher eventually. I'm gonna set alerts on both. Uh, oh, this one is really thin. Oh, actually, okay, yeah. Okay, I could do it in my IB account. All right. Uh, SDX, uh, what's the ADR on it? It's 3.9 ADR. No, it's not a good setup. It's not very explosive type of setup. It's it's too short of consolidation. I, I I don't I don't like it. My favorite ones are the ones that uh, do the 20 20 day moving average uh, base. I don't, I never trust the 10 day ones. Um, Oh, TRXC is starting to come back. This one I also like to set up. Uh, maybe not today, but for next week. Uh, it looks like sense, in a sense. In a sense, it looks like sense. <sighs> They're all too thin for me. Man, I can't trade the best ones. GRTS. Uh, yeah, but it's not really a good setup. It's uh, building higher, lower highs, but it's not building lo higher lows. That's the problem with this one. That's the problem. But it is a tight range. It's very tight. Uh, like, it could very easily go with it, but I don't like the fact that it's not building higher lows. Blink. Yeah, I've been long this thing for a few days. It's still, maybe I'll add if it takes out. So it's taking out this range next week. Uh, how many shares do I have on this thing? Uh, okay, no, never mind. I pretty much have full size. How many shares? Let's see, shortable. 88,000 shares on uh, GME. CNET. Oh, now it's a China crypto name. There you go. This thing has been so many things in the past. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a. Uh, this also has been. Uh, Yeah, this thing has been many times. GP. Within stop loss range right now. I, I don't know what that means. It's at the highs of the day. It's not even close to where, you where your stop is should be. Um, okay, guys. Fuck this shit. It's getting slow. I want to play Hearts of Iron 4. I have some other stuff to do also. Uh, Veru, you, 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 uh, yeah, it looks decent. Veru, uh, there's nothing here yet anymore. All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining. See you on Monday. Good luck.